Hi guys, welcome back to Karmatastic. Today's video will be a tutorial on how to install Fallout 4. If you haven't already installed uTorrent and WinRAR, then go ahead and do so because you'll need both of those if you want to install this game. I have links listed in the description for both uTorrent and WinRAR, and I also have a link for a tutorial on how to install both of these as well. If you already have uTorrent and WinRAR installed, then you can keep watching as we jump into step 3 of installing Fallout 4. Okay, so after you've installed uTorrent and WinRAR, then what you're going to do is click on the link to Fallout 4 located in the description. Once you've clicked on the link, it'll automatically redirect you to adf.ly and in the top right hand corner, it's going to have a 5 second countdown and you're just going to wait 5 seconds and then you can press the yellow skip add button. So once you've clicked the yellow skip ad button, it'll redirect you to Fit Girl Repack site. Once you've arrived on the site, then go ahead and where it says download mirrors, you're just going to scroll down and then click magnet. And since you've already installed uTorrent, you'll just press open link. And then it's going to load up over here. Once you click open link, you'll see a list of files that eventually appear and you'll just press OK. And then it's going to begin installing and downloading and then it's going to say seeding and once it says seeding come back to this video and I'll show you how to go from seeding to finished. Alright guys so now it says seeding and it did take a while but after it says seeding all you got to do is right click on the green part of seeding. So just right here right click and then click stop. Once you've clicked stop, it'll go from seeding to finished, and then you'll right click on finished and click open containing folder. Okay, so once you have open containing folder, just double click on the setup multi 8. It'll be at the very bottom, so you have to scroll all the way down to the bottom and then click setup multi 8. Then press yes on user account control. Okay. And then the Fallout 4 installation will begin. Go ahead and once the setup opens, click next. Then it'll give you some information. You'll hit next. All right, so the next step you're going to do is it's going to ask where you want your destination folder to be. I'm going to be using a terabyte hard drive and press OK. Alright, so now I have my destination folder set and I'm going to leave both these checked and press next. The next step is picking your language and I'm going to go with English, install, and now it's going to begin downloading. This might take some time so I'm going to go ahead and skip to where it's already finished. Alright guys, so now the installation has finally finished and you can go ahead and uncheck launch Fallout 4 or you can leave it checked if you want to go ahead and launch Fallout as soon as it's done down as soon as you click finish. It's really up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and leave everything checked and press finish. And once you do that, this will appear and it's just checking everything. And once that's done, you can go ahead and X out. It's only going to check 89 files. So once this says 89 of 89, then you can go ahead and exit out. So once this is done, I'll come back. Okay, so now as you can see, it says at the very bottom, it says 89 files checked, all files okay. So once it says that, then you can go ahead and X this out. Wait for a few seconds and the direct X will pop up and you'll just accept, click next. It'll initialize and then you'll click finish. And then this will be the next thing you have to do and this is just Microsoft Visual. You'll just install it if you don't already have it. Um, I already have it so it's just going to say uninstall or repair so I don't really have to worry about that. So if you've already installed it then just press close. Um, if you haven't it'll say install and that means you need to install it. So once you've finished installing everything that needs to be installed then it'll detect your video hardware and set video options accordingly so you'll just press ok and video settings have been set for low quality ok um, yours might set for high or medium it just depends on your computer um, I'm going to X this out and X this out you can just press play
Alright guys, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and that it was easy to understand. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Also, if you have any suggestions for games you'd like to see a tutorial on, then leave a comment and I might just pick it. Thanks for watching. My other channels are linked in the description below. Bye guys.